Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. Kayla Lords. John Brownstone. Of Loving BDSM. Back. Yes, we are. Still talking about things you need to know. Mm -hmm. BDSM. This time we're talking about something that I've called BDSM negotiations, but mm -hmm. could easily just be negotiations in power exchange. Right. So DS, it works in sex too, mm -hmm. but, but we're under the big umbrella yeah. of kinky stuff. When you hear kinky people talk about negotiations, these are the things you want to keep in mind, which includes kind of what they are. True. Um, essentially, if you're completely new to the idea of it, negotiations is the word we use most often. It's basically when you figure out what your limits are, what your partner's limits are, what you mm -hmm. will do, what you won't do, what you want to try, what you don't want to try. Um, it's not just the kinky sex stuff. It is also the power exchange in DS of... Um, right. how you will navigate this relationship and how much control you will take if you're the dominant or top and how much control you will give up if you are the submissive or bottom. Um, and so when we talk about figuring out that relationship, the word we use most often is negotiation. And so we're going to cover what that means and what you need mm -hmm. to know about it in this top five. Yeah. So here we go. Are we ready? I think so. Okay. Number one. Negotiations are simply conversations. So people kind of think of negotiations, I think, and they imagine like boardroom tables with very serious people, one at one end and the mm -hmm. other, and there's like a, a signed agreement and it's this back and forth. Well, I want this. Well, I want that. Could it be? Sure. Yeah. Your kink's not my kink, but your kink's okay. <laughs> uh, but it's truly just the conversation. It Could is be a, a, a negotiation role play. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but truly, bottom line, it's a conversation. Yeah. It's the casual, hey, I'm kind of interested in, fill in the blank with your kinky thing, and the other person going, huh, mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds kind of interesting, or no, that's not really my thing, but what about this? Right. good portion of our negotiations have been done in a coffee shop over a cup of coffee. Or just driving it down the road. Driving down the road. Um, I heard somebody say that... Uh, conversations in cars are a little easier because you're not actually looking at you yep. you're looking facing forward mm -hmm. and so it's a little bit easier sometimes to say difficult things parallel conversation parallel conversation yes. and i would agree that that is true mm -hmm. so yeah it's just a conversation you don't have to overthink it it can be more than that but bare minimum a negotiation is a conversation yeah. okay number two Negotiation is an ongoing process. Yeah, so a lot of people think the very first negotiation they do in their DS or the kinky sex they're going to have is all they ever have to do when they're no, done. No, it's not one and done. No, it is not. It is constant and ongoing, partly because you will think you know what you want or what you like, mm -hmm. and then you will try it and go, oh, no, that doesn't work. And so you're going to have to adjust. Right. The longer you're together, the more you're going to want to try new things or mm -hmm. you're going to want to stop doing things. And so because the entire process of being a kinky person is sort of a journey that you go down, mm -hmm. your negotiations are part of that journey. Mm -hmm. And so, Because especially if you're new, you're, you're discovering new things about yourself, about your partner. Mm -hmm. So what may once have been a hard limit may now be a maybe limit. Exactly. What you thought you wanted to do, you tried and went, oh, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And so then you take that off the list. So mm -hmm. negotiations, um, whether you do them as casual conversations or something else, never really stop. You might have lulls mm -hmm. in between where you kind of adjust to things, but you're in healthy power exchange, DS, BDSM relationships, you should be constantly communicating anyway. Right. And part of that is figuring out what you want, what you don't want, what you want to try, what you don't want to try. In the early days of our relationship, we did a six month check-in. Yeah. Yeah. We would, we would purposefully, regardless of all the conversations we had in the middle, we would check in at six months and go, here's what we said we wanted to do. What works? What doesn't? What do we want to right. toss? What do we want to keep? And so you can do that as well, but mm -hmm. it is ongoing. It yep. never really stops. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Number three, negotiation requires both partners to participate and communicate. Yes. So there is this ooh, lie that some dominants want to believe that they dictate the terms and the submissive just goes, okay, that is not how this works. No. It is a two part. Well, if there's two people in your relationship, if you mm -hmm. have a triad, then there's three. But everybody who's participating in this dynamic has a say. Yeah. Everybody needs to, to the best of their abilities, say what they want, say what they don't want, say what they might want. Mm -hmm. And 
everybody has to learn how to say the hard things, listen to the hard things, things mm -hmm. that you thought were working well might not be working well, things you want to keep doing, your partner might not want to keep doing. And that's the give part of the give and take of BDSM and DS right. is learning how to have these back and forth conversations where you both participate. So ideally at the end of this initial conversation or a set of conversations, you're both getting what you want out of the relationship. Right. But that only happens if you're both participating in the conversation to negotiate what it is you want right. in the relationship. Well, one person's talking, the other one actually has to actually be listening. And not thinking of the response they're going to get. Right. That's not actually listening. You have to be taking in the information. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with saying, okay, you've given me a lot to think about. Can we come back to this later? I need mm -hmm. time to think about it, to research, to digest the information. That's okay, you yes. can do that. The con because the conversation is not a one and done, it's you don't have just this Tuesday at four o'clock. <laughs> you have the next time you talk to one another. Right. You have every conversation you'll ever have through the life of the relationship. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Negotiations can be formal or informal. So what I mean by that, what I think of that is formal negotiations are sometimes written contracts mm -hmm. or they're yes, no, maybe checklists where what you're doing is you're literally going down pieces of paper and going, okay, this thing, yes, no, or maybe, how do you feel about it? And you just go line by line by the thing in kink or BDSM you want to try or do. And then there's informal where you're just sort of sitting around going, you know, I'd kind of like to try this kinky thing. And mm -hmm. there isn't a spreadsheet to follow and there's not a list <laughs> to follow. It's just this idea came to you and you're having this conversation about this one thing. Mm -hmm. And then of course, because everything is a spectrum, there's every other method in between those two and right. they're all valid. As mm -hmm. long as at the end of the day, you and your partner have come to an agreement about what you will do or what you won't do and what you'll try and what you won't try, it can be anything you want it to be. Yep. And whatever you decide upon, you can put in writing or you can leave sort of open. Again, totally your choice. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to number five. Negotiations are more than a yes, no, maybe checklist. So you might start <laughs> with the yes, no, maybe <laughs> checklist because you don't, maybe you're new enough or in a new enough relationship where you don't even know what all your options are. Mm -hmm. And so having a list to go through keeps you organized, helps you kind of walk yourselves through, here are the things you're gonna do together, here are the things you're right. not gonna do together. Here are the things you're gonna go learn more about before you decide. That's fine. And that's a great starting point, but that mm -hmm. negotiations are so much more than that because it's not just about the kinky things we do. It's about our health. It's about okay. the mental health triggers we might have, the ones we know about, because we sometimes have sometimes. ones we don't know about. It's about what you want out of this relationship, what you want out of this kinky scene, what you are hoping to achieve as a submissive, what you're hoping to achieve as a right. dominant. You will not necessarily have that entire conversation in the first go. You might start True. with your checklist. But as you move through this partnership, this arrangement with this one or two or however many other people, these are the other parts of your journey, your BDSM mm -hmm. journey that you need to explore yes. and that you will have conversations about and you will learn more about yourself and you will learn more about your partner. And then together, hopefully, if all goes well, you will learn more mm -hmm. about each other and how you fit together and how all of that fits together to have the kinky experience, the power exchange yeah. that you want. And it goes beyond the, um, the, the scene or the, the role that you're playing um, to afterwards, to where you negotiate even in some cases aftercare. Absolutely. Does a person want aftercare? What, what is aftercare to them? Uh, checking in. Right. A, a day, two days, or even a week afterwards. Because not every relationship is um, a long-term loving sexual right. romantic relationship. Not everybody who has a power exchange with somebody else is in the same city or mm -hmm. state or in the same country as the right. other person. And so some of those things that you're gonna have to negotiate are and figure out between each other is how are we going to deal with the bad feelings that we have? Right. Sub drop, dom drop, um, mm -hmm. sub frenzy, <laughs> that's a thing that happens, but there's mm -hmm. also a, a drop from that as well eventually. Yes. What happens when we have an argument? What happens if a submissive breaks a rule within the power exchange? 
All of those things are part of the negotiations. Correct. As you go through your BDSM journey, whatever Mm -hmm. that may be. Yeah. Okay. So if you are somebody who's got a lot of experience in BDSM and you're thinking, oh, there's other things to know about negotiations, leave a comment below so everybody can learn. We do not think we know it all. And there's always more than five things. Yes. So feel free to leave us comments. If you are new to BDSM or the idea of negotiations, um, any th- links of podcast episodes, videos, or blog posts that we have on the topic, we will link down below in the description mm-hmm. as well. So you can then do a deep dive into that topic right. um, for yourself and or for a current or future relationship. Mm-hmm. And if you love what we do, Yes. Subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. Mm-hmm. Notification and bell. The notification bell. All the clicking. Just do all. Just <laughs> click across or, or touch screen if you're on your phone. Just across the screen. Just click all yep. the buttons. And then when you're done, come join us on Patreon. Yeah. For as little as a dollar a month, you get a live Q and A every month. You get a bonus mm-hmm. podcast episode. You get a sneak peek at every video we make, and you get to help us pick topics. So if you're like, y'all, would you please talk about the topic? Then come be a patron and you can tell us what you want us to talk about. Mm -hmm. So that's patreon.com slash Kayla Lords. Link below in the description. Patreon.com slash Kayla Lords. Mm -hmm. Come be a patron and subscribe to our channel. And watch our videos. (laughs) Bye. Bye.